Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to add the heat map plugin to your leaflet web map. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm just using a very simple web map here, and just to show you guys, um, it's just something like this, I'm trying to keep everything very simple. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below on how to create uh, a very simple web map such as that. Okay, so we need to go over here to this GitHub site, and I'll also leave a link in the description down below on how you can get to this uh, GitHub site. And of course, we'll give credit to the person who put the, uh, the code all together here. Before we begin, um, just so you know that your data set for this heat map, it needs to follow this logic here. So we're going to have a latitude, longitude, and some sort of intensity. Would it be like earthquake, intensity, uh, cost for like housing values, for example, or tornado data? Uh, that's what I'm actually using. Um, so just get you a quick heads up. That's what we're going to be making sure your data is formatted like that. So if we go back up here to the top to the green code button, we click on the down arrow and download the zip file. And we'll come over to our download file or folder and we'll extract that. Okay, and what I'd like to do is copy that extracted folder and paste that into my project folder where I have my HTML and I also have my data file here as well. So I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio. And if I open that up, I could look at my data. My data is just like that example if I come right back. Oops, right back over here. Latitude, longitude, intensity. Oops, sorry guys, I have two monitors. Uh, here we go, latitude, longitude, and intensity. Okay. All right, so if we go back to the GitHub page, it looks like we need to add this leaflet-heat.js, that script here. So let's go ahead and add that. So if I come up here to the head and I add that source, equals, and within the double quotes, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna put that uh, code, it's in the this dist folder here, leaflet-heat.js. If I right click, right click and I could copy the relative path, paste that right in between the double quotes, and we just close that off. Okay. Now we can come down below in the body here, go back to the GitHub page, and what I'm gonna do is just copy this right here. I could just select Select it like this, or if you hover over here, you can see the little copy icon, and you can click onto that. And this is copied. Okay, so let's paste that right down in here. And what I'm going to do is just a delete out the data portion of it. Okay, so between the brackets, that's where we're going to need to add our data. So I'm going to do is just simply copy that and I'm just going to paste it right in here okay everything looks pretty good just make sure I have everything in line okay and we will save that and let's go ahead and run that okay so you can see there's a little bit of heat map but I think what we need to do is do some adjustments to um, if we go back to the github page right down here we get add some minimum opacity and some gradient so if we add minimum opacity let's copy that and we'll come back over here let's see under radius we will add a comma. Minimum opacity. We say 0.04. And I believe it was gradient. 
and we'll come oops gradient here we'll go back to GitHub page. Let's see, what does it talk about gradient? Let's just copy this here. Blue, lime, and red. Okay. Let's go ahead and save that and we'll go back to our go back to our map and refresh. Okay. Yeah, it's looking a little better. So again, what these are, these are tornado touchdown points uh, within the state of Kansas here in the United States. As I zoom out, you know, it's a little more clustered and then it kind of, um, as I zoom in, you can see where really those intensity uh, touch, um, tornado touchdowns were located. You know, we could uh, modify the way this looks too, if you want to make it a little more red opposed to that line color. And what we could do is just change some of this. So, you know, we could bring the blues down to 0.01 and maybe the, the red, say 0.06. We could re save that and we could refresh the map. Yeah, looks a little, a little darker. So you guys could play with that. Um, it's just a, a quick and easy way to just take your point data and to show the intensity through a heat map. And yeah, that's it. So as always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you guys have any suggestions for any future videos, I do appreciate those in the comments. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.